Pandora is going to Thank you, 
do. You know he lays the foundation, open up the way. One more, one more. Can he do? Can he do? One more, one more. Can he do? Can he do? One more, one more. Can he do? You know he lays the foundation. Open up, you know he laid the foundation. Open up the, you know he laid the foundation. You know he laid. You know he laid. Open up the way. You know he laid. You know he laid. You know he laid the foundation. Open up the way. You know he laid the foundation. Open up the way. You know he laid the foundation. Open up the way. You know he laid the foundation. Open up the way. You know he laid the foundation. Open up the way. One more. Can he do? Put your hands together. All that you know he laid foundation. He opened up the way. You know he laid foundation. Open up the way. You know he laid foundation. Open up the way. One more. Can he do? Come on, let me see you put your hands together. I get joy when I think about. 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 You can't tell so let me tell it. You can't tell it, so let me tell it. I get joy when I think about it. I get joy when I think about it. What he's done. 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 He saved my soul. He healed my body. What he done? What he done? What he done? What he done? You don't know like I know. Oh, you don't know like I know. Oh, you don't know like I know. You don't know my God. Come on, put the hands together. Come on, give my real thank you for our praise real quick. Hallelujah. You don't know like I know, but 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 you don't know like I I don't 
talk to you. So praise him. I don't know a mark that's fine here. He's been good to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. 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 Thank Thank God for each and every one of you on today. Our speakers here on today. We just thank God. So we're looking for a good thing on today, right, Saints? Oh, yeah. This is Wednesday, and we're looking for a word from the Lord on today. But before we get to that word, we're going to pray. Before we get to the word, we're going to read some scriptures. Before we read, get to the word, we're going to have some devotion. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. So we got some things to do before we hear a word from the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Just remain standing. Our elder Winston Cooper's come forth. With our opening prayer. Amen. Every head bowed, every eye closed. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you right now, Lord, for another day you have kept us, O oh Lord, in the land of living. Lord, would you touch us right now, Lord, from the crown of our heads, O oh God, to the soul of our feet, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. Lord, anoint everyone, O oh God, that's here right now, Lord. Lord, we worship the service right now, Lord. Yes. We thank the Lord for another men's day right now, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, you touch every heart, oh God. You touch every mind right now, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, let the power of God come on in, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh Lord. Have your mercy on every single one of us, oh Lord. We thank you for your grace right now, Lord. We thank you for your truth right now, Lord. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord. By the power of the Holy Ghost, Lord, in the blessed name of Jesus, we say thank God. Thank God. Amen. 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 Standing, our deacon Louis Legaris is coming forth with the scripture reading, which is Psalms 122, 1 to 9. Psalms 122, 1 to 9. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Psalm 122, 109. May the Lord bless you to the reading of the word which follows right now. I was glad when they said unto me, mm. let us go into the house of the Lord. Yes. Our feet shall stand within thy gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built as a city that is compact together. Whither the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord, unto the testimony of Israel, to give thanks unto the name of the Lord. For there are set thrones of judgment. Mm. Thrones of the house of David. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper that love thee. Mm. Peace be within thy walls and prosperity within thy palaces. For my brethren and companions' sakes, I will now say, Peace be within thee. Because of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek thy good. Amen. 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 Lord, I bless you to the reading of this word. May sanctify be done in our hearts. Amen. 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 Now, the voice is open now for us to stand and testify to the glory of God. Hallelujah. 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 All over me, and he's keeping me alive. Keeping me alive. Keeping me alive. He's all over me, yeah, he's keeping me alive. My Jesus is keeping me alive, oh yeah. My Jesus is keeping me alive. Oh, he's all in my hands and he's keeping me alive. He's keeping me alive, he's keeping me alive. Oh, in my hands and he's keeping me alive. Oh, 
Thank you. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Lord, we're so happy to be here right now to celebrate Men's Day. Men's Day. <laughs> Women's Day came. And we celebrated that in the name of the Lord. It was a glorious celebration. But now it's the men's turn. It's the macho men's turn. So I, I use that word kind of loosely, uh, but that's what it is. Amen. It is what it Hallelujah. Is. Okay, but I just Hallelujah. wanted to say something. If you what. Uh, would uh belabor me for like maybe two minutes or so just want to get certain things out that i think men should hear because the theme of this of this uh service is we're seeking men after god's own heart mm. and we know all about david because the old testament talks about him says even though david sinned before god it is true he committed two grievous uh, egregious sins but still the grace of God told him that he was a man after his own heart. And it said that in the Old Testament and says it in the book of Acts as well. Okay. But where are the men today? Where are the men? Mm. I don't know. Mm. God knows. But I'll tell you something. Okay. There are men. Uh, when I was not too long ago, I think, 
it was Elder it was Elder Ferguson that had testified that he would stand out there by the door where, where Sister Raja is right now, and he would be willing to take a bullet because the way things are, are right now, persecution has exponentially increased mm. against the Christians right now. Mm. Okay, and he's right. Elder Ferguson was right. Okay, we need that type of men. We need that those type of men, and Amen. we need somebody like. Brother Eddie, the Minister Eddie, right now, how, what he does, how he goes out there, how he goes and preaches out there to the, in, into the subways. It's not easy to do. It takes a certain amount of gumption to do that. Okay? It takes a, it takes a certain amount of gumption to go out there into the street right now, like my wife and I are doing, among other, you know, as well as others. Okay? It's not only us, obviously. It's others as well. Okay? And we, we see a certain, you know, 99% of the time it's, it's, it's uh, favorable among the people, but you got that 1% of, of crazies out there that want to challenge you. And, uh, but I remember not too long ago, there was uh, a man from London, England that uh, saw me on the street. And this wasn't so long ago. He asked me, what do I, do I think that the end times have come or are, if the end times are coming because of what happened uh, to the Israelis on October the 7th of last year. Do you think that's the signal of the end times coming? I said, I, I believe it is. I believe it is. Uh, when, when in light of that, what I would do, I said to the, I prayed to the Lord and I said, Lord, maybe we ought to be stepping up our game a bit because of that. Because Right now, I asked some people out in the street. I didn't used to do this before, but now I do. Do you have a church to go to? Some of them say, uh, well, yeah, I do have a, go to, you know, a church to go to. You know, uh, but others say, no, I don't have a church to go to. Mm. And I invite them over to divine guidance. Okay? Now, it's up to the Lord, okay? Because the Bible says, the Father will draw men to me. That's what Jesus said. Well, the Father will draw man to me, okay? So he's drawing men to him, okay? I can't do it. I'm only a man, okay? Other people, they're, they're just human beings. They're of flesh and blood. But only the Father can do that, Amen. okay? So we, I have to say, okay, that we need men to step up their game for this sort of thing, okay? It takes courage. And if you are going to sacrifice yourself for Christ, you need to invest two things. You need to invest time and you need to invest money sometimes. Time and money, which we don't have in abundance. But I would say time is more important than money because money, is, money could be recurring. It could come, you know. But time, time is precious. If you don't lose time, if you don't do the time, if you don't put in the time, you'll lose the time. You can't get it back. Mm. You can't get your youth back. You can't get to yesterday back. You have to be able to invest time and money as well as other things that's precious to you. Because 1 Corinthians says you have to offer up your body as a living sacrifice, only an acceptable it's sacrifice. It's a sacrifice. This is not a game. Christianity is not a game. It's not a game. People think who go to church, some of them think it's a game. It's not a game. Mm. So, and the, the other thing is that we have uh, an election coming up, okay, which could impact your, your, the way you live. You can't pretend out there. You can't put your head in the sand like a goose and say, it's not going to affect you. It will affect you. Now, look, I've said this before. I'll say it again about one of the candidates. Ms. Harris is not fit to be the commander-in-chief of the armed forces of this country. She's just not. The media is window dressing her, making her look good, making her look palatable in front of low-information voters. And that's the truth. Now, if you don't agree with that statement, that's fine. That's okay. It's all right. 
look, this is a free country. You can vote for whoever you want to vote for. Okay? But I think, I believe that responsible Christians ought to vote responsibly. Do your research. Don't do two things. The establishment media and the liberals are brainwashing people into doing two, two things. Doing this, you know, the color of, of one's skin and your gender. No, that is not. That's how the world thinks, but that's not how Christians ought to be thinking. Okay? If you're going to vote, vote responsibly. That's what I say to everyone. The other thing that I want to just mention, my one last thing, is that we have to tell our young people not to be brainwashed by what they see on the TV and the things that they, they see in the news. Just the other week, I was at Two Metro Tech here in downtown Brooklyn. I saw all these young college students from NYU shout, river to the sea, river to the sea. Palestine will be free. Okay? Mm. My Lord. They don't know what they're saying. And you can't be taken in by that. Okay? The, one of the reasons why God made the United States so great is so that we could defend the, the state of Israel. That's what, that's one of our, one of the things that we, and if we're not doing that, if we're not backing Israel to the hilt, okay, we're going to face judgment like other countries. You just read the history of other countries that turned their back on Israel. They all went by the wayside. And America will, will do the same thing if it turns its back on Israel. But we need men to step up. Men have to be, men have to be responsible. They have to know the scriptures. Okay, let me just give you a, a quick uh, verse here. First Corinthians 15, uh, 14, chapter 1435. And if they will, no, no let, let me read this. Um, it, and if they will learn anything, meaning the women of the church, and if they will learn anything, let them ask their husbands at home. Well, now what does that say? What's, what's that tell you? Tells you that if the, the ladies of the church don't know anything or don't, they need to learn, aspire to learn something, let them ask their husbands at home. So what does that, that places a responsibility to the husbands, does it not? You have to then be, be able to know the scriptures. Because, for example, if my wife asked me something, sometimes she did ask me a couple of things about what the scriptures mean. And if I don't know what they mean, then I'm not doing my job. Okay? You, uh, so men have to step up as the leaders of the church. We can't leave it all to the women. But that's exactly what's happening. Okay? Mm. Because men, shallow-minded men, are leading, are, are, are uh, just ceding their responsibility to the women, all the way up to and including church leadership. That needs to change, okay? Men are natural leaders, and we have to step up as men. Men responsible to do the will of God. That's what the Bible teaches. The world does not like that. The world hates that message, but we have to be able to just love the message and to say that to everybody who would listen. Pray my strength for the Lord, and thank you. Amen. Amen. Come, let us sing. Let us rejoice. Come, let us sing. Let us rejoice. Messiah has come. And he brought life. And he brought laughter into my soul. Oh, come let us sing. Let us rejoice. Come let us sing. Let us rejoice. The time has come. And he brought life. And he brought laughter into my soul. Oh, it would have been enough. If he brought life, it would have been enough. If he brought me, it would have been enough. 
while you worship you'll be very praising God lifting up the name of Jesus the name that's above everything hallelujah why because we love him the more we worship the more he blesses us the more the power of God comes out the more the anointing comes out glory to God somebody shout hallelujah oh my God is here hallelujah Hallelujah. I, I, I gotta kind of save my voice because uh we'll be doing worship out in, in Queens this past this week Ooh. coming up, but from the 16th to the 19th, we'll be doing some quick of worship. We'll be praising God, bringing evil to Jesus. Hallelujah. You're gonna be here too. We're going to be out there worshiping God, lifting up the name of Jesus, the name that's above every name. And if you ever needed the Lord before, you sure need him now. In the midst of everything that's going on, we need Jesus. Hallelujah. That's why I just can't, I just can't help but praise him. I can't help but praise him. I can't help but serve him. I can't help but worship him. Brother Chris, I know you know what I'm talking about. Both Brother Chris, both of you know. Because our God is real. Sister Anna, I know you know too. Glory to God. And I know, I, I know a, a, Apostle Burns, you know. Hiya, Lord. The hang out for the Lord now. Where would we be? Sister Barbara, I know you know too. Hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're witnesses for the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Better to us than we all do ourselves. Yeah. That's why we have to praise Him. Yeah. We have to lift up that name that's above every other name. They lift it up idols. If they can lift up their idol God, we can lift up the true and the living God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's why I gotta praise Him. I can't help but serve Him. Why? Because you've been so good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Hey. Brought us out of the darkness. How many of you did he bring out of the darkness? How many of you have a testimony? Hallelujah. 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 Because the God you serve is real. Hallelujah. 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 If you have a testimony, you can put it in now. Hallelujah. I'll tell you. You're going to put your testimony in. Hallelujah. We love you all. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 I give an honor to Jesus. Oh, Pastor. Uh, and pass all the elders, the deacons, missionaries, and everyone in the house of the end temple house of, of God, where God told us, Don't forget to go. Hey, so many hallelujah! But we thank God for His mercy and it yeah. is forever. Yeah. and I thank God because of I have so many things to be thankful for and to thank God for. 
is too many to enumerate. Yeah. But he knows how grateful I am because yes. every day mm. I'm worshiping him. I can just he's spirit, it, you know, in spirit and in truth. I tell the world, people in the world, that's who we have been sent here to witness to, that Hallelujah. Jesus is the only answer. So many people, Hallelujah. sometimes sometimes there are believers too, they, they're praying that it's going to get better, and they believe that. But I tell you, it's going to get worse oh, because yeah. these are the last days yeah, yeah, before yeah. the arrival of King Jesus. Oh, and yeah. we better be about our father's business. Yeah. We are being warned now to get ready and to not just get ready, but to stay ready. Oh, honey, Stop yes. going in and out of the ark of safety yes. before it's too late. Yeah. And you're going to end up sharing the fate of Satan and the demons and perhaps end up during the, uh, the uh, seven year tribulation period. But I just thank God for so many things. He brought me so far. And one thing I'm gonna mention now is this too, like I said, I got too many things to thank him for. And I know that the devil is after our children and I'm reaping the harvest God promised me. And I take him back with the devil stole from me. Because he is a liar. The truth is not in The same thing that happened to Adam and Eve in the garden, he's doing to our children. And guess what? Not just to them, but to us too. So I pray for them. And I thank God because he, I fell into the train on my way to work. And then nobody went to help me. I, I'm standing this high. I was like this because my all up to here was was under between the track and the between the um the um the station the platform between the platform and the train wedge there. But the angels that God sent to protect me, they did their job. Are you doing your job? You're, we are to work in the vineyard to preach and teach the word of God. And I just, I'm just so thankful because I was lifted up by the Holy Spirit, the angels. And I know that I see miracles. So it happened to me. And then uh, I was able to continue to go to work. Amen. How come we can't continue to go to church? Why? Why does the devil get a hold of you and you're a prisoner and you don't want to do what God said? Hallelujah. But if you, for the disobedience, a curse will follow you all the days of your life until you repent Hallelujah. of your sins. Hallelujah. Well, I just thank God for everyone. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to tell you a testimony. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Of the beginning of my relationship with Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Pastor Leon knows my mother. They've known each other for years. And I remember the services I did go to. I, would, I remember some of it. And I remember it was powerful. Every time it was powerful. But I strayed off, right? I went my own way. I decided to leave the church and do what I wanted to do. What made me feel good, right? But then I had an encounter. And the only reason why I had that encounter is God closed doors. To everyone I knew, I lost my father, I lost my job, and I was by myself. Yeah. All right, I had I couldn't I didn't I couldn't comprehend any phone numbers. I didn't understand. I was totally confused. Mm. But you know what? One day I happened. I sat down on a chair and I just did this, Jesus. Mm. And when I said that. Mm. A spirit, the spirit of heaviness. Now that I know what it is, it was a spirit of heaviness because almost everything under that heaviness, I had it. And that when that lifted, that began my relationship. Oh. And I didn't stop. And I'm not stopping because I'm going to pray for my family because everything that the devil has stolen, I'm going to take it back in prayer. And prayer is going to be the key that makes things happen. Things are held back in this country because of the powerful prayers of the righteous. It says in the Bible, the powerful prayer of the righteous avails much. So when you think that your prayer is not being heard or being answered, it says, it, because you can't see it, doesn't mean he's work, not working. He's working just because you can't hear about it. 
That doesn't mean he ain't working. He's working. And he's working in the prayers that you're praying for right now. In your house, in your kids, in your family, in your financial situation, in your job, in your life. He is working. Don't give him faith. Don't give him hope. And don't give him trust. Because trusting in God says, without faith, it is impossible to please God. So don't give up on your faith. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Any more testimonies out there? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. We overcome by our testimony, sir. We overcome through by our testimony. Somebody needed to hear that. Hallelujah. Brother Ed, somebody needed to know that you have fallen, but you got back up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sister, someone needed to know that the door was closed. But God opened it when you said, Jesus, Jesus, hallelujah, the name above all names, hallelujah, oh, we thank God, amen, I thank God we're having a good time so far, and we haven't even came to the end yet, oh, hallelujah, we thank God for every song and every testimony that was lifted up, hallelujah. We still wait for that word, Hallelujah. but we thank God for the appetite, the, the, the appetizers. Hallelujah! We thank God for what we're nibbling on for now. But we serve a mighty God. Hallelujah! Right now, we're gonna have the choir of divine God is gonna come forth. Come forth, give us a hand, saints. Praise the Lord for the. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, God. 
Divine Goddess, you know what you are asked to do on today, man. You know what you're asked to do. We're going to call our trusty Ferguson, hallelujah, and our, our Deacon Laglaris is going to come forth. Divine Goddess, if you need an offering envelope, the usher's there to pass it out. And that's not fair. I'm a bad, I'm a bad body. One basket is for our speaker, the other for the church. Go ahead. 
Hallelujah. For the direction of the us. I'm standing for the speaker. Amen. The people of Gareth is standing for the church and our trustee Fergus standing for the speaker. Start off with two hundred dollars. So I was mad, I was mad, brother. I was mad, brother. That's why, that's why I got mad. And my brother, bro. Well, I got, I got so sad. I got so sad. I got so sad. Cash app the dollar sign church is zero seven zero seven. It's the cash app. Hallelujah. Dollar sign churches zero seven zero seven. Hallelujah. Oh, I thought Please close your eyes, bow your heads for the prayer. Oh Lord, we we come here faithfully, and out of our hearts, pour dollars and cents for the betterment of the church, for the glory of the church, Lord. Not for one individual, not for one person, but for the entire embodiment of the church, Lord. And take these dollars, Lord, and expand them wide in every dimension, Lord. Hallelujah. So you can help the body of Christ yes. spread the word, spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. We're honored to have Bishop Lamont here speaking, and we are doing our best, Lord, to just give him a token of our appreciation right now, Lord. So bless this offering right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. amen. Come on and praise the Lord. Thank you for your giving. Hallelujah. Lord bless and keep you. Multiply it back to you. Hallelujah. Some 100, some 60, some 30. We thank God. Press down, shaking together, and running over. Somebody say amen. amen. When you give, God gives it back. Don't you know you can't be God given? Amen. If you want the blessing, you need to give. Amen. amen. Well, hallelujah. We hallelujah. thank God for teaching everyone what you have done. We thank God for this great 
man of God who has honored us this day to be with us on this Men's Day celebration. We're very thankful. We're thankful to God for him and for his congregation. We thank God again for our Apostle Burns being with us. Amen. 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 Thank you, for We thank God for her honoring us with her presence. Even now, we stand to your feet. We receive the man of the hour, the man of God, the laborer in the vineyard. Hear what he has to say to you. Hallelujah. We're receiving at this time our Apostle Lamont Robinson of the Royal Generation Body of Christ, Believers International Incorporated. He has honored us and favored us to be with us today. And we thank God for him. And I want you to receive him with a hearty amen. Say, God bless. God bless. Apostle Robinson. Robinson. In Jesus' name. Receive him now in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord is here. Hallelujah. Let's lift your hands, people of God. Amen. The Lord is here. Hallelujah. Amen. Can we play some prophetic chords? Hallelujah. The Lord is here. Miracles in this atmosphere. Signs and wonders and brief deliverance. As we experience God around America, let's lift up hands and worship God today. Come on, people of God. Come on, false prophets. Ask the teams of the bandits, come on, come on, come on, tap in, tap in, come on, clap your hands, tap in, tap in, tap in, tap in, tap in. The Lord is here. We come against every power of darkness, every generation of curse, every poverty. We come against it. Come on, come on, tap in, come on, worship, worship God. Come on, come on, come on. The Lord is here. The Lord is here. Come on, tap in. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on, people. Come on, apostles, prophets, pastors, and teachers, evangelists. I talk with a million thousands of you in person and online. Come on, tap in. The Lord is here. You destroy every power of darkness. You come against sickness, disease, and virgins. Come on, tap in. Come on. You come against cancer. You come against mental breakdowns. Come on, come on, come on. Walk around your area. I need everybody to get out of your seat and walk around your area and claim miracles, signs, wonders. Great to deliver The Lord is here. As we experience the awesome power of God around America. He's healing bones. He's healing bones. The Lord is here. Come on. Tap in. Claim your healing. We come to get the spirit of incarceration. We come against the spirit of incarceration. We come against every confusion, every principality, every power. Tap in. The Lord is here. Tap in. Come on, saints. Come on. Come on. Worship. I'm still waiting on some of you. Come on. Worship. 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 Worship, worship God, worship God, the presence of the Lord, the presence of God, hallelujah, receive the supernatural power of God, receive it, receive it, receive it, I didn't come to play church, we shift this atmosphere for miracles to occur, signs and wonders, tap in, Come on, come on. We come against Alzheimer's. We come against every untimely death. We come against the rapists, the molester, 
We come against any and everything that's not like God. We cancel the sign of the enemy. Come on, tap in. Come on, the Lord is here. We have divine guidance. We come to worship. Come on, say worship them. Come on, come on. Come on. Worship. 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 He's filling with the Holy Ghost and fire. He's filling with the Holy Ghost. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tap in. Tap in. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. He's filled with the Holy Ghost and fire. Worship God today. Hallelujah. Come on, come on. Tap it. Stay right there. Stay right there. It doesn't do harder than that. Stay right there. God. We're tearing our walls today. We're tearing our walls today. We're tearing our walls today. Come on, saints. I'm still waiting on you. Tap in. Tap in, the Lord is here. The Lord is here. That's right, my sister. That's right. Worship. Worship. Come on. Come on. Come on. Worship. 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 Tap in. The Lord is here. The Lord is here. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, it's a God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a God. Come on, worship here. Come on, 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 come on. May I pray over them? Um, amen. Come on, say the atmosphere. They got to go shaba. They got to go shaba. Worship here. Worship God. He's here. Miracles in the atmosphere. Signs and wonders and breakthroughs. Deliverance. 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 I need everybody to come in the middle aisle. Come in the middle aisle. Come. Come in the middle aisle. Come. Come. Break and bones. Sickness. Stress. Weights and pressure being lifted. Receive it. Receive it. By the power of God. Receive it. Receive it. The feel of the Holy Ghost and fire. Burn, burn, burn. Receive the Holy Ghost and fire. Receive it. Receive it by the power of God. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it now. 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 Receive it. Receive it. By the power of God, receive it. Receive it. By the power of God. Receive it. And come with your hands. And receive it. Receive it. Receive the power of God. Receive it. Receive it. Tell them yes. Tell them yes. Tell them yes. Fill yes. it with the Holy Spirit. Fill it. Receive it. Receive it. Stick it. Stick it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Receive it. 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 Receive it.
receive the supernatural power of God. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive the power of God. Receive it now. Receive supernatural power, 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 power. Shabbat. Receive it. Receive it. Come on, clap your hands. The Lord is here. The supernatural power of God is here. Receive it. Come on, yes, come on, come on. The Lord is here. The Lord is here. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. Brother, you, you come, come, come. You, the power of God. I said, the power of God. Wealth, prosperity, miracles, signs, wonders, great deliverance. Worship God. Worship Him. Come on. Come on, the Lord is here. The Lord is here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Worship God. Worship, 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 worship. We speak wisdom. The purpose of God being in this atmosphere. Come on, come on. Worship God. Revelation, confirmation to the brother by the power of the living God. Receive it. Receive it. There it is. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Strength. Somebody shout strength. Strength. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Sister in the back, you. You. Come. You. Come. Somebody said, well, prosperity. We speak of studio apartments. We speak of apartments. Debt cancellation. We speak apartments come forth. Apartment come forth. Apartments. Apartments. Oh, Come on. Come on, people of God. 
Come on, worship God today. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, worship. Enter, enter, enter into the presence of God. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, stand up and worship. Come on, we don't come to sit down. Come on, come on, walk. Come on, worship. Come on, come on, come on, clap your hands. Come on, come on. The Lord is here. Miracles in the atmosphere, signs of wonders. Hey, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, go for Shabbat. Enter. And so this gates with thanksgiving and into his cause with praise. Praise the Lord. Praise him. Hallelujah. We experience God around America. The Lord is here. Amen. Reverence the Lord. Before we reverence anybody, reverence the Lord. Amen. Come on, lift your hands and reverence the Lord. I want you to say, tell them what God what you want. Some of you here, you looking for new studio apartments. Hallelujah. Who's that in here? Thank you, Jesus. Who's looking to move to a nuclear household? Hallelujah. And we speak Hallelujah. that the Lord will bless you with that wife you want, that husband you want, a new increase in your job. I'm talking about high positions. The Lord is here. Amen. Student loans be forgiven now. Uh, student loans be forgiven. Client innocent bills be forgiven. Mortgage bills be forgiven. Come on. You got to continue to create the climate. I hear the Lord very well here. I see businesses. I see increase of money by the thousands. It's coming. This ministry is so big. I see a cathedral. For pastors Ferguson, this ministry is going to increase. The pastors are coming. Hallelujah! Here, Holy Ghost. The pastors are coming. The pastors are coming. The deacons are coming. More ushers are coming. Trustee board is more is coming. Faithful servants are coming. It's done. It's done. Can we clap our hands? Jesus. Let's honor. Amen. Let's get the protocol out the way. Let's honor. Amen. Pastor Leon Ferguson. That's a little better than that. That's a clap right in there. Amen. Of the Divine Goddess Tabernacle of Faith. And his assistant pastor, Joey Cooper. Amen. Apostle Pindero Burns of Tyler Rock Gospel Assembly Incorporated. And then to these musicians, the man, very anointed. Go on to all the ushers, let's give them a hand. To Elder Cooper behind me, let's give them a hand. To every nation, every kingdom, to all the apostles. Prophets, pastors, teachers, evangelists, to the rabbis, to the elders, everybody's watching this. To every organization, to the Baptist, to the Pentecostal, Church of God in Christ, and listen to everybody that's viewing this broadcast around the country. We honor you today. Let's give ourselves a hand, people. Amen. Amen. Get into the word of the Lord. I was only part two what God get ready to do here. Amen. Amen. You can sit down. Amen, please. Amen. I'm going to be you know, before you that long. Hallelujah. Amen. Because the Lord is here. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Your topic was, amen. I think it's Acts 13 and 22. Amen. I'm just going to. 
Give some inspiring words. Amen. Amen. I'm going to be out of your way in five minutes. Amen. Amen. How to flow in the will of the Lord. And when we think about flowing, we think about some things moving currently as a moving stream. David was a deep in love with God. And he currently continually moving towards God's towards God's seeking God. We adore God, we reverence God, we honor God. We praise and continually. David has established a divine connection with God. And every person we meet is not a divine connection. But every believer has a divine connection with God. Amen. Second Corinthians 7 and 15 tells us that we are create we are created in Christ Jesus. The Holy Spirit has given us God's character, character and attitude with the fruits of the Spirit and the baptized into the Holy Ghost. And then he has given us everything we need to live a pleasant and productive into him. We must put forth an effort in maintaining this. Amen? Amen. Amen. We almost there. Amen. I'm not a Halloween preacher. I'm just a straight teacher. Amen. Amen. One thing is we going to have to have a heart of God and say into his will. We must be worshiper. Somebody say worshiper. worshiper. Amen. Psalms 34. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Amen. Amen. Let's continually in this walk of life, let's continue to worship and praise the Lord. Amen. Through all your trials and tribulations, persecutions, scandals, Whatever you're going through, sickness, disease, continually to worship God. Because God got some great things. Somebody say great things. And stored for you. Amen. To all people here. The Lord is getting ready to move. The Bible says, trust the Lord with all of your heart. And lead not into your own understanding. Acknowledge who? God. And he will direct your path. Be not weary. I hear Holy Spirit and well doing. In due season, you shall reap if you faint not. Isaiah 55, verse 8 said, God says, I know every thought. And my God says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways, said the Lord. So it's time for us as a people to follow the thoughts of God, not our own. Thoughts, not your own. When God tell you not to go through that red sign, you go through it. God want us to be obedient, obedient, because God has spoken um, to some of you here in dreams and visions. Thank you on divine places that He wants you to do go. I'm talking about traveling the country. I mean, talking about the power of evangelism. Can somebody say evangelism? evangelism? It's time to evangelize. It's time to go out to the highways and hedges and tell the people about how good God is. Amen. I don't know why I'm going this way, but the Lord is about to give some of you some dreams. Dreams, dreams. Hallelujah. Dreams. That's why the topic is today. The search is still on for every man after God's on heart. God is looking for people that stand for holiness. Stand for righteousness. Somebody say holiness. All right. Baba said be holy. I'm holy. Come out from among them and be separated and say the Lord. Touch not the things unclean. Amen.
come out of being sleep. Arise. It's a Holy Spirit. Arise. The Lord is going to restore families today. Somebody said, break the prison bars. Amen. Anxiety, depression, blindness, gouch, fear, flashbacks, depression, baby mama drama. He's going to break it today. The abuse is going on in past tense relationships. The abuse to taking advantage of time, physical. And I'm talking to those that are dealing with situations. Amen. God is telling me to tell you, forgive yourself and forgive those that hurt you. He's healing families today. As I'm speaking to you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Talking to rape victims. I'm talking to everybody in this room that dealing with situations with your spouse, your kids, confusion, and become against the powers of darkness yes. in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Even your giants in your life. Even the giants in your life. Father issues. Amen. Past tense, not in your life. Pastor Ferguson, let me lose myself as an example today. My mother did 25, 30 years behind prison. And, um, amen. It's a big story how, you know, God is forgiving God. And some folks said, you know, you left a child unattended. And he drowned and the family go back and forth. But after she came home, you know, she was doing wonderful. And the Lord just called her home nine months later. Somebody would say it's like a life for a life. But I have to trust in the Lord. Amen. I know she did her work, but she was a great influence in prison. Amen. Amen. I'm talking to everybody that's here. God is trying to tell some of you to open up your businesses. Amen. Because God, gonna, you're going to be a blessing to your ministry. Talk at the barber shops, nail salons. You know what I'm talking about. Amen. I'm talking to you. God is going to use you. I see multi millionaire people in this atmosphere. You better claim your building. Come on. You better come on, come on, you gotta clap your hands. Come on, clap your hands for the wealth and prosperity. The Lord is here. Who's looking for a job today? Who's looking for a job today? Who's looking for a job? Raise your hand. It's got people here looking for jobs, looking for apartments. Looking to travel around the country? Amen. Anybody else? Amen. I want you to just reach in the air and just grab that miracle. Reach up. Hey. Y'all got to work with me here. Y'all got to reach up and grab that miracle, people. Amen. Grab that job. Grab that house, that apartment. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. New wall, Joel's in your closet. Suits. Precious, yeah, yes. yeah. new wardrobe, it's coming. Your season of your sewing is going to come to pass. Becoming, amen. Your family members that is in gangs are going to come to, to the house of God and get saved. Blood, grain, crip, crip gangs, be dirty, whatever it is, they're coming. God is, is moving and touching millions of people. Mm. I can't even get through the sermon because God is speaking to me some of the people there. And I was asking the Lord what to say. God paid people faces in my spirit last night. 
Amen. Amen. Hear the prophet. Amen. God is getting ready to expose the false prophets, false apostles. He's getting ready to reveal the true prophets and the true apostles Amen. to perfect his saints. Yes. Enough with this tradition. Yes. Enough with it. God says, seek my faith and I give you divine direction. And God is speaking to some people here. Amen. Just lift your hands, people of God. Just lift your hands. Hallelujah. Let's reverence the Lord today. Hallelujah. We speak. Hallelujah. We speak apartments. We speak it to this brother right here on the organ. We speak it to him now. We speak prosperity. Everything he touched are increased in his hands. Hallelujah. Speak wealth, prosperity. Properties come to him so he could be a blessing to the ministry. Touch, touch, touch. I might say wealth, prosperity. God's going to connect you with some people, the people of God. It's going to blow your mind. I'm doing great miracles. But God says, He's pouring out his presence in his atmosphere. He kind of vocal shot. Hallelujah. Those that are facing comas, coma, coma, he kind of We come against every untimely death. Hallelujah. We come against it. Comas, aneurysms, Alzheimer's, strokes. Heart attacks. I plead the blood of Jesus in this atmosphere. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Get that stroke. Hallelujah. Heart attacks. Yes. Yes. Rebuke him. Hallelujah. Can we all stand? Hallelujah. My brother on the drum. Come. What you're feeling now is the supernatural power of God you're feeling, right? Mm -hmm. right. Hallelujah. Receive it. Glory to God. Receive it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Worship God, come on, sir. Revival's in the atmosphere. Revival. 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 You are here. If your hands move in and out of it. I worship you. I worship you. You are here. Moving in our midst. I worship you. I worship you. We make a miracle work. A promise keep a line in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Sing it with me, y'all. Sing it to yourself. We make a miracle work, a promise keep a line in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Sing it again. We make a miracle work, a promise keep a line in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Sing it to yourself. Wake me up. We make a lyric, the work, a promise, keep a mind in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. You are here. You are here. Moving in our midst. I worship you. Come on, lift your hands for the Lord. I worship you. You are here, moving in our midst. 
I worship you. I worship you. Say, way make up. Way make up. Mirrors go work up. Promise, from light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Way make up. We make up, miracle work up, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Do I hear you? The Lord is here. Come on, worship God. Lift your hands. Tell them how I love. Tell God how you love them. You are here. You are here. Come on, worship him. Worship him, worship him, worship him. Go work a promise keeper, light in the darkness. Oh my God, that is who you are. Wake maker. You are here. That's who you are. 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 That is who you are. Before I take my seat, stay in an atmosphere. Before I take my seat, I want you to shout miracle. Prosperity, healing, deliverance, signs, wonders, come forth. God bless you, Pastor. Come on and praise the Lord. You are here. I worship you. How do you worship him? How do you love him? How do you really love him? Hallelujah. We bless the God, our hearts burn. Hallelujah. Glory to God, the man of God came forth. The apostle came forth with the word of God. And then you know what? It's the truth that makes you free. Amen. And there are some truths spoken this afternoon. But each and every one of us that we have to grab a hope. Grab, reach up, reach out and touch. Reach out and grab it. Somebody say amen. amen. I don't know about you, I'm grabbing mine. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I, I believe in signs. I believe in wonders. I believe in miracles because the God we serve is a God of miracles. Amen. Every time I turn around, he's working miracles for me. He's doing great things, and I'm excited. I'm excited. I just praise God. We thank God for this man of God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Lord. Come on, Sunday. Glory to God. Thank you, Father. Thank you for this great day. I, how, how are you glad you've been here? How are you glad you're here today? Glory to God. Just the beginning. Amen. Just the beginning. God's getting ready to do some great things. Point to yourself and say, He's getting ready to do great things in me. Yes. Hallelujah. You know why? Because He loves you. I said, He loves you, Carolyn. You know He loves you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I know He loved me. Each and every one of us have a testimony. Yes. Glory to God. And we overcome by the blood of the Lamb in the word of our testimony. I don't know. I'm happy. I'm happy. Thank God for this men's day. I thank God for each and every one of you that made your way out. Hallelujah. This time, Pastor Cooper, I'm going to have some juice. I'm going to come forth. Thank God. 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 The word and the prayer of faith. And I thank God because these are trying times. If it ever was a time that we needed God, now is the time. And so I thank God for the word of God that came forth. We are all blessed. We are blessed beyond compare. 
And I thank God for seeing your wonderful, loving faces. And I thank God for the Hernandez family. So good to see you. Praise God. And I praise God. Nobody gets a little bit look like, like this. We thank God for our apostle that came forth with such a mighty, powerful word. A blessing on the house of the Lord. Somebody say amen. We thank God because it was in season, a word in season for a time such as this. And we ask God to continue to bless you and keep you and to restore all you give us out. Restore back to you some 40, 60, and 100 fold. So we thank God for those of you that made your way out today. Thank God for our trustee Ferguson coming away from Pennsylvania. Amen. We praise God for him. We thank God for his faithfulness. Him and his wife. And we thank God for you. And we just give God praise for everyone in the house. Continue to pray for us that we be the daughter God is calling for in this last evil days. Amen. 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 Yes, the apostle Burns, yes. We'd like to hear from her. Somebody say amen. amen. We give honor to God, amen, to our Pastor Ferguson, amen, our, praise God, Pastor Cooper, Ellen Cooper, to Apostle Lamont Robinson, my apostle, we just thank amen. God for everyone under the sound Hallelujah. of the voice amen. of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank God for his move in the place today. Thank God for the rich word. Praise God. We thank God for the rich testimonies. Praise God. But we enlighten one another. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Keep your eyes on Jesus. And don't be distracted. Praise God. And when you're in a man, praise God. Go forth and joy. You will please God in your heart. Those encouraging words. We just thank. We thank God. I'm so. I'm so happy. We thank God. We for the Hernandez family coming all the way from the Bronx. Amen. We have Pennsylvania and Bronx, and, and and I thank God for all the Brooklynites. We thank God for each one of you. Amen. What a blessing! You know, our God is a great and mighty God, miracle work, Brother Giassi. Stand up, my brother. That's the fireman. He's the fireman. Love New York, the fire, the glory. The glory. You know what? It's it's about the presence of the Lord. If I did, you know, if I couldn't feel the presence of God, I wouldn't be here. Amen. It's the it's God's glory. God's glory present. And we're going out next week in the in Queens and Richmond Hill. We're going to be going out there. We'll be preaching the good news of the gospel. Somebody say amen. amen. That's what we do. This is what we do because he, God has been good to us. We have a testimony. We'll be doing worship. We'll be doing prayer. We'll be praying. We'll be going out to witness to people in because the kingdom of God is at hand. Amen. Amen. It's time for folks to repent. Amen. We see the way this world is going. We need to, we, we got to cry aloud and despair not. We got to blow the trumpet inside. Somebody shout hallelujah. We got to sound the alarm because the king is coming back. Woo, I don't know about you. I want, when he comes back, I want to be busy doing I want to be busy doing his work, doing his will. God bless you, y'all. Say, I thank God. One of my sons in the gospel. Man. My, my other son in the gospel lived in here. He was supposed to come, but he didn't make it. But I thank yeah. God. We thank God for the miracle working power. Because this man, he believes in laying hands on the sick too. Amen. And they become. Amen. Don't you know God is giving all? Don't you know that if you're a believer in Jesus Christ, what does his word say? These signs shall follow them I that believe. Huh? Believe. You believe? Yeah. If you believe, the signs are going to follow you. Amen. Come on, somebody. There's no respect. There's no respect to the persons. I mean, little kids are laying hands on people and getting healed. They're getting healed. Yeah. So, what about you? Come on, somebody. God is awesome. I'm not, not gonna, we're not going to keep you much longer. Thank God for Apostle. He was in the way and out of the way. I don't want to be in the way now, but I want you all to be able to get back to your various places. And I have, we have another service to get to. 
and God ain't through with us yet. <laughs> Somebody say hallelujah. I don't know about you, but it pays to serve Jesus. He's a great and mighty God, and we give him all the glory. We give him all the honor. We give him all the praise. At this time, we'll ask our sister, Cherise, we come forth and present the speaker with this. The next voice you hear with this that apostle, Lamont Washington, Marsh Robertson, excuse me. You know that that Washington name is something. Somebody say how to do it. Washington was a great man. <laughs> but truly, this is by Lamont Robinson. Thank you, Apostle, for coming and bringing forth such an amazing word from, from God. Thank you for coming. And really, this was just an awesome, awesome service today. And please accept this as a token of our appreciation. Can we all stand? Let's have more danceable. <laughs> well, you gonna do that? That's praise the Lord. Come on. Before we dance, jump ropes, apple jacks, all that kind of different thing. We get ready to dismiss, but we gonna dance. We gonna leave dancing. Amen. So I hope you got some good shoes on. Hope you got your maraca, your tambourines, your washboards. Make sure your wig is put, you know, pitting your hair right. You know, so listen. All right. Somebody shop miracles, miracles. signs, signs. Wonders. wonders, breakthroughs. More grace. Let's dance and praise God. Believe. You're just seeing the miracles. Come on. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Absolutely. As the apostle said, we really need it. Yes, absolutely. You brought up some things that were definitely, you already know. Yes. Yes. I know, but how, how do we still go? Oh, it's still going? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I guess you can press it. Do I press and? I'm still going. <laughs> Thank you for coming. To God be the glory. Amen. Yes.